Welcome to Simple Review. If you find this review to be helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now in this review, I'm covering the co-op experience of a beat-em-up RPG called River City Girls 2 on the Xbox Series X. When playing this game, you will have one game mode, and that is the story mode. This mode can be played with up to four players locally, or two players online, with drop-in and drop-out co-op. A public game browser is available so you can play with random players if needed. Story-wise, this is a direct follow-up to River City Girls 1, but I will avoid spoilers with this review. To put it simply, the Mafia has taken over the whole town and you must stop them. This is explained in detail from its voiced and animated cutscenes. Starting the story mode, you will choose from any of the six characters. Two of these characters will be locked when starting out. Each character offers their own playstyle and attacks. Players cannot choose the same character as their co-op partners. You have the option to swap characters whenever you want, so this selection is not permanent. When playing online, all story progress will be saved to the host player. Character progress will stay with all online players, so you can level up your character in your friends game and take that back to your personal save. Local players will all use the host player's progress on the story and characters. Once in game, you will be given objectives to further the story. This will take you through several section pieces of the River City world. Most sections will contain waves of enemies. Defeating these enemies will cause them to drop money, grant you XP, and sometimes offer to join your team as a special attack. Collected money is used to purchase passive abilities, new moves, and stat point increases for your character. The XP you earn will eventually level up your character, increasing their stats and earning them new moves. As you progress throughout the world, difficulty will increase, forcing you to grind out XP and money to strengthen your character. If you die in combat, you will be given a short window to be revived by your teammate. If you fully die, you can respond in the next map section as long as one player is still alive. If all players die, you can respond at the last checkpoint and lose some progress, or get sent back to your hideout, which can be far away, to retain all progress. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now for my experience, I'd have to say I found this game to be decent. Having RPG elements in a beat em up game adds a feeling of progression to keep you engaged. Each character offering their own playstyle and attacks allows for cooperation and combos with co-op partners. Music, cutscenes, and voice acting help create an immersive world. I did feel that there was an input delay when moving around and attacking. This really hurt the gameplay and made everything feel clunky. I didn't experience any performance issues, but I was disappointed to see this running at 30 FPS. I hope to see an update to address these issues as this game definitely has potential. So with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 7 pepperonis out of 10. River City Girls 2 is an excellent beat em up RPG that just needs a little polish to really shine. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions and I will try to help.